I think that the Folger is a symbol. If you really think about it, it is the living, breathing Shakespeare among us in the 21st century. The Folger looks like this elegant treasure chest, this elegant box in which if you, if you open it, if you have the secret to opening it, you will find all these treasures. I think one of our first dates was me taking her to, to a Folger play. <laughs> this was probably the first place I ever saw professional Shakespeare. This is the first place where I learned to adore Shakespeare. I was able to play my two dream roles here in the theater. One day I discovered the book of Four Conjuring Spirits. What the Folger proves is that libraries are living, living institutions and that they're capable of change and growth in all sorts of ways, including unexpected ways. how very unstodgy the Folger is and surprising when you walk in and find all those wonderful things. I think that, that as Gail retires, she's leaving the Folger in a, just a magnificent place. I think having a director who was, is, and will still be a scholar has always been really important to the Folger. She was a, you know, a baby student when she started using this room, uh, writing her PhD, writing her dissertation. And ever since then, she, all of her scholarly work has been done here. I was a fellow three times at the Folger. I mean, the Folger supported me um, generously as a scholar. And I would hope that the future of the Folger Library would always see a scholar um, sitting at, at that desk. I think you have to wear many caps if you're a director at the Folger, and Gail has donned them all so well. Including having to renovate the building. When you undertake to restore in some cases, to firm up, to clean the Folger Shakespeare Library, you're buffing up a national treasure. I can't pretend to understand all the time that Gail probably put into that, but I think we've all seen the output from it. I think about the, the Folger Shakespeare Library being almost literally in the shadow of the Library of Congress and how easy it would be for it to be a secondary institution, for it to simply disappear from the public discourse. And yet that hasn't happened at all. Gail is always thinking about the future. In what ways do we need to take the unique spirit of the Folger and ensure that it is always preserved? It's the same voice, but it's singing a different song because it's in a different era. Clear that under Gail's leadership the Folger has reached more teachers and therefore more students than it ever has. As a student, I feel safe knowing that I can come back to Folger and find whatever information it is that I need to find. And that makes me feel wonderful knowing that Shakespeare will always have a home. It's important for the Folger to be the source for a lot of Shakespeare. Uh, a lot of what is known and thought and, and, and admired in Shakespeare. I played the ghost of Hamlet's father here, one of my dream roles, and during that production I was able to read some of the ghost's lines, some of my lines, from, directly from a first folio. And that gave me an incredible amount of satisfaction. That's something I, I wouldn't be able to do at another theater. We go to the theater oftentimes because we want to see what the new generation is thinking. And that's where it's happening. Since 2003, attendance at Folger Theater and Folger events, the consort, the poetry readings, is up 25%. Our concern that not enough people are being exposed to Shakespeare. That battle has been won at the Folger. Her successor will be able to take, it, take that into the directions that 
we probably aren't even thinking about yet. Since we're looking forward, it's very evident that a lot of people will first encounter the Folger over the next 25 years through the web. And I think that the staff and Gail has done an excellent job making that happen. And certainly, the job is not done. I'm really proud of the library. So for me, being director was, way, was really a way of giving back and repaying the institution. Gail was amazing as a guide because she was so enthusiastic about everything she knew and her willingness to share that with me was something really special. And as a student and a performer, I will be forever grateful for that.